Hello and welcome to Puff Pastry. I'm so excited and super nervous, but you know, no big deal. Um, I want to thank all you guys for being awesome patrons and letting us be able to do this for you guys because we've been talking about it for, what, years? Um, the last time we did it, I was with Ezra, my fellow Puff. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna fare by myself because now I don't have a buddy in the kitchen, <laughs> but um, let's go back a few days to see Meg shopping because I don't know any of the ingredients. I don't know what I'm making. So this should be fun, <laughs> I hope. Megan here from behind the camera. We're gonna we're gonna pull a Great British Bake Off here, uh, and do a reveal of the ingredients. And we've used our our trusty trans pride blanket. So yeah, and I may make a mess. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have eggs, sugar, flour, molasses. Um, dark brown sugar, confectionery sugar, softened butter, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, cornstarch, vanilla, and baking soda. Any guesses, my puff? Uh, like, these are like all ingredients you can use with like anything that you make. <laughs> I'm gonna guess something Gingerbread? All right, let's have Barnaby reveal it. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Puff Pastry. I'm Barnaby, your favorite badger, and I'm here to tell Katie, your favorite Hufflepuff, what she's baking. Now for the big reveal. All right, what do we think it is? <laughs> Barnaby, you're a great help. Can I look now? It's Ginger Newt Cookies! Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> Nervous, but excited! Oh, I hope they're as good as the Universal ones. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> now I did have to order a special cookie cutter. Oh. So I'll go get it. Alright. Look how cute it is. It's 3D printed. Yeah. We found it on Etsy. I don't know if it's going to focus. It's not like as big as the ones, like as fat as the ones at Universal, but it They're was like the closest double. I could find. Yeah. That's fine. We'll make it work. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. Puff pastry. Let's recreate ginger new cookies. All right. Preheat oven to 375 Fahrenheit for all our foreign friends and line baking sheets with parchment paper. Okay. Say 375. I don't this know. This is why I don't pay. I'm not here to help you. Oh look! We use a yellow and a green. Hot tip to save the environment. Yep. Reusable baking sheets. And you can, well at least these, you can throw in the dishwasher. Step two, place the butter and brown sugar in a large mixing bowl and cream together until sp until smooth. This is what I don't like about baking because you have to follow these instructions down here, but then you have to like constantly be going back up and finding out how much you need. It should just say place whatever amount of butter and whatever amount of brown sugar in the directions. Why does it need to be separated? That's My brain point. doesn't work that way That's a good point. very well at all. So we realized to cream it, we don't have the right attachment. We did, but we put it in the dishwasher and broke it. Quick target run. We'll be back. This just means that me and Barnaby get to stop for a snack. I don't know how to use one of these things, but... 
so they didn't have the attachment that we needed, oh, so yeah. we had to get this instead. Did I put it in the wrong one? No. you put it in and then start it. so good. <laughs> Butter and sugar. Scrape the bottom and sides of the bowl with a spatula and add molasses. Scrape the sides. A little bit of butter is still in there. <laughs> <laughs> that looks delicious. Let's just eat that. We're done, right? I would bake it into a cookie. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I did that. I can oh, smell it all the way over here. Smell it. Do what I did. So two thirds cup. Molasses. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really gloopy. I guess not. the mixer. Why are you not tell me anything? <laughs> uh, maybe I'll start with this and then I'll do the mixer. No, but then the next one says beat. <sighs> what do these words mean? Why can't they just say what they mean? That was a good technique. Thanks. I'm gonna go for a mix with the mixer, right? I'm just gonna say it's good. Next line, beat in the eggs one at a time, scraping the bottoms and sides of the bowl after each addition. You don't have enough arms to do this. You gotta beat it and scrape it. I don't enjoy that. There's gotta be an easier way to crack an egg without it splitting. Do you want a little tip? Yeah. Wait, no, you're not supposed to. If you turn this on and slowly lift, oh, it'll come off. It'll, it'll whip all of the extra off. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay. Add the cornstarch, cornstarch, cinnamon, ginger, salt, and cloves. 
and mix on medium low speed until combined. I would add a little nutmeg too. I'm gonna get you some nutmeg. Okay, third cup. Cinnamon. I'm all. I told Meg the other day. I'm always afraid I'm gonna grab cumin instead of cinnamon. You eyeballed that half. And, right? <laughs> <laughs> ginger, two teaspoons ginger. See, why don't they make these bigger? <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> One. I guess it does fit in there. Ginger. Generous teaspoons. <laughs> <laughs> um, salt. Three fourths teaspoon of salt. Is it okay if I put this one in there? Yeah. Again, eyeballed that. And <laughs> <laughs> cloves. An eighth of a teaspoon. I would put the same amount of nutmeg as the clove. On a fourth. But I need an eighth. So that's half of a fourth. Oh, that's really potent. You said the same as same for nutmeg? Mm-hmm. Improvising. Do you know that too much nutmeg can kill you? <laughs> as she eyeballs the amount. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. Mix on medium low until combined. Okay. Medium low, a two or three. I'm gonna scrape the sides. <gasps> <Jeez. laughs> uh, add about two thirds of the flour. <sighs> Why did it make me math? Two thirds of the flour, then mix on low speed until incorporated. The dough will look very dry and crumbly at first, but will come together after a minute or so. So the flour is four cups. So would you just do three cups? That would be three fourths. Two and a half? <laughs> yeah, that's probably good. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do two and a half, I guess. go everywhere. Uh, add the remaining flour. Should be a cup and a half. Yeah, a cup and a half. A little at a time until the dough forms a ball and comes cleanly away from the sides of the bowl. If the dough, if the dough seems sticky, Add up to an additional cup of flour until it is smooth and easier to handle. Is that too much to add at one time? too much flour in because my arm is tired. Alright, so that is the four total cups and I might need to put more in. We'll see. I would suggest using a shallower bowl. I picked this bowl because it was yellow. <laughs> Should form a 
ball. It's still too sticky, I think. Should do fourth at a time. <laughs> I'll do four at a time because I can always add more. I can't take away. Four and a half cups. Better formula dough ball, buddy. I don't know what I did. If this is right or not. It's like really... I don't know. Comes cleanly away from the size of the bowl. Well, that's certainly not the case right now, so I guess I need more. Did I get like a phone home? <laughs> I've never made gingerbread cookies, I don't know. Yeah, but you have more instinct than I do. I would think you probably need more flour, maybe. Barnaby! Oh no, casualty! You need an apron! So I I did decide to help her out a little bit and and suggest maybe kneading the remaining flour flour into it. That makes sense. So I've added three fourths cup of flour. So I'm gonna try kneading it for a little bit, see what happens, and then maybe add, add more fourth. another fourth if I need to. Is that like as good as that's gonna get? Probably. Should I do it here? Yeah. You could do it here. No, just thing. keep it in here. Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess I shouldn't have helped you with that, but... <sighs> it's so sticky. I looked it up and people say that you should just add more flour. So that's what we're doing. That's, we think that looks a little better, babe. We think we just mix the extra flour in like we should have needed it, but it didn't say to do that. So recipe person, get your poop together. <laughs> We got a dough ball. It's pretty soft dough though. It is very soft dough. So anyone who watches the Great British Bake Off or any baking show and they make something gingerbread, don't you dare ever judge them because this stuff is hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next step is to roll out the dough to the thickness of, <laughs> thickness of 3 8 inch. Rolling pin rings help to achieve an even exact thickness. Well, I don't have those. Between two sheets of parchment paper. Uh oh. I think we do actually have parchment paper. And I'll get it. Cut shapes with cookie cutters. Alright. Let's do it. I don't really understand how to do this part. How are you supposed to do flour and parchment paper? Roll it out. And also, you haven't noticed this is curled. It's not gonna lay flat for me. How much should I get? Okay, then I should flour and put down dough. I'm 
I mean, it looks like dough, right? This is not gonna, should I split it? There's no way I can roll this giant tub of dough out. I don't know. I'm gonna split it. What, how much is three eighths of an inch? Would you like a ruler? I don't know how to do that. So that's like what, where'd you say, like here? That's About. half, wait, like here? Yeah. So that's pretty thick, so I guess I'll roll this whole thing out. second thought, it's probably still like way too freaking big, but slides everywhere. <laughs> Eighths of an inch. Is it okay? Maybe a little thin, but I'm not gonna roll it anymore. I'm with the boy. <laughs> Trying to even it out a little more. What do you think? I have no opinion. Let's do a little bit better. So I have to cut them and the next step is to transfer them to the baking sheets and then how long to bake them. So I'll read that when I get to it. But I think I'm gonna move a sheet over here. It usually tells you how far apart to put them, but it doesn't. Should I flour this? Okay, here it goes. First newt. Oh, that's, that's a thick dough. Uh... Egg? Hmm. Maybe I should do that again. His leg came off. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, let's try again. Somewhere else. Too thick. I don't really think that's supposed to happen, but it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Should I flour the top of the dough? I think this is like too thick for this cookie cutter. 
Do you know what I mean? Maybe. Why don't you use a utensil to help you push it out? You won't come out. It's like something's like... It's gotta be too thick. That's huge. <laughs> That's really big. Scrapping this note. Okay, so she has decided to have the dough and cut it thinner. I mean, roll it thinner. Yeah. It was really thick in the middle here. I mean, I did kind of try to tell you that. I tried to roll it out more. It doesn't want to roll out. And this piece isn't big enough. What if I just did my hands? From little that I know of cookies, this feels better. Also, as per Meg's suggestion, which I truly do appreciate, we're gonna use powdered sugar to sprinkle on top to try and help like loosen it from the cookie cutter. And I think I'm just gonna like sprinkle. I'm gonna try it real quick on one, see if it works. More. Is this the proper method? Heck no. Is it what I'm doing? Heck yes. spatula because I don't want them to get all wobbly. Well. <laughs> I think I'm not going to use a spatula because it didn't help. <laughs> this one, I don't know what he's doing, but He's doing it. <laughs> oh boy. That was smoother. <laughs> They're all gonna be a little different. <laughs> so we were able to get eight on here with our cutter. Oh, my directions. I threw them over here in frustration. Alright, transfer shapes the prepared baking sheet and bake for 10 to 14 minutes or until the cookies are set around the edges and just a little softer towards the center. I don't like those instructions. 10 to 14, that's a big gap. <laughs> All right, little girl. Good luck. Oh, I guess I should set a timer. I guess I'll start at 10. All right, there's a glaze too. Let's do it. When the cookies are baking, whisk the glaze ingredients together until they become a smooth glaze. Add more water if the glaze is too thick, which means I'll probably have to add more water because this recipe doesn't know what it's talking about. It should have the consistency of maple syrup or a thin honey. So I have to wit or not whisk, sift a cup of confectioner's sugar. 
It smells like Christmas in here. It smells really good. So this is half a cup. I don't know why you do this. I don't understand. It's to get clumps out. It's gonna make it all nice and super fine. Am I doing this right? Would you like to know how to do it faster? Take a spoon. You can like push it? Yep. There are no spoons. Not even a big spoon in the back, because that actually might be better. Just kind of like stir it in there. This is also less messy, so thank you. One tablespoon of unsalt. Darn it, I gotta melt butter. One tablespoon of melted I have no idea. <laughs> what do you think? I think they actually might be done. I don't know! My <laughs> You have to eat these! I don't want to poison you! I'm gonna leave them in for one minute. Okay. melted yet, but I feel like it's gonna melt. I'm gonna put it back in. <laughs> they look the same! I don't know, what did it say? Set around the edges and just a little softer towards the center. I think that's right. Cause I, look, if I put it any longer, it's gonna burn. I think they're done. I'm gonna make sure I have the other stuff ready before I pour all the lead in. Cause I just wanna like mix it all at one time. So I need to do warm water going. one so hot I'm gonna add these first a half a teaspoon well although I mean is vanilla ever like too much no half a teaspoon so one tablespoon wait one tablespoon plus one teaspoon butter that's burning me. Whisk. Oh, that looks good. Say that's good. Put the cookies. It should have the consistency oh. of maple syrup or thin honey. Yeah. If we had any more water, it'd be way too much. Put the cookies on a cooling rack and brush them with the glaze while still slightly warm. The glaze will dry in about 30 minutes, but I want to eat them now. Let's hope these guys don't break. Ooh. Well, they certainly didn't spread. 
you know? Yeah. They're small. Thanks. You last one. I'm getting more generous with the glaze because, you know, these are my cookies and I do them how I want. <laughs> and also, that's not too bad if we mess up my hand. And they say to let these dry for 30 minutes. Alright, let's try one of these bad boys. I hope I don't poison you. I'm sure you won't. <laughs> Focus on the newt. Cheers. A little newt kiss. They're pretty good. They're crunchier than I thought they would be, but they're still really good. Uh, probably because I put them in for a minute longer. Hmm. Everything I cook is overcooked. But, that's not bad. It's edible. Is Universal's better? They're softer. No. But, the taste is pretty spot on. Mm-hmm. Right. The icing is what makes it it tastes like the universal one. Mm -hmm. Mom, do you want to try one? Do you one. have to try it on camera? Which little guy wants to sacrifice his tail to my <laughs> mouth? They grow back. They grow back. These are <gasps> magical ginger newts. So if it's gross, you can say so. Mm -hmm. and it won't hurt my feelings. Crispy on the outside. Soft and chewy in the middle. That's what the directions call for. The icing is sweet, but not too sweet. Okay, I don't see a tail, so... <laughs> Very excellent. I give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We accept all feedback since this is my first solo puff run. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you for being patrons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, comment below with ideas for the next puff pastry. I won't look. Mm -mm. I'm getting like a heat from the ginger. I like that. Mm -hmm. Are these like not actually ginger newts, but like fire salamanders? Like Bruni from Frozen? Mm -hmm. Disney crossover. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you, guys.